I think they both met their goals and they were they were pretty office, uh, uh, obvious from Mike Pence. It was to attack the Hillary Clinton uh, policies during this campaign and the Hillary Clinton policies and the Barack Obama policies of the last eight, eight years. He repeatedly did that uh, when he got the opportunity to talk about uh, criticizing the Obama administration. He did that uh, quickly and uh, went after Hillary Clinton about her role as secretary of state. The nation's security as it relates to her role and Secretary of State and of course as we saw earlier in the newscast the uh, email servers the uh, role and goal for Tim Kaine was to once again reinforce the temperament question with voters by not really attacking Mike Pence so much as trying to get Pence to defend uh, Donald Trump and some of the remarks that he's made through the campaign. They both stayed on those tacks as much as they could uh, throughout, the deba throughout the debate. And to that degree, this was a draw, as I said earlier. They were both pretty successful at it. Looking ahead to Sunday night's presidential debate in St. Louis, which you will be uh, at, Michael, does tonight's performance change uh, the Trump or Clinton strategy Sunday night? Not a drop. The, the, this was set um, some time ago, especially after um, the week that Trump had last week. This is going to be uh, a very important debate for both candidates, obviously, but most, uh, mostly for Donald Trump, who needs to improve on his performance from uh, a week ago out on Long Island, where it simply just wasn't a very good night for him. Everybody knows that. He is going to be under pressure of demonstrably sh improving his performance that night, and so that makes it a very big debate. Hillary Clinton will also be under the pressure to have the same sort of good night she seemed to have uh, on Long Island a couple of uh, weeks ago. It's very difficult because it's not going to be the same debate. Debate. This is going to be a town hall debate, Chris and Laura. So voters will be asking the questions, and it's a little bit more difficult for a politician to steer off and ignore a voter's question uh, to make a political point than it is when it's a more formal debate like the one in uh, Hofstra. We go. All right.